No, I want the... <coughs> I don't want, like, all random spam. Alright, Devo and Scrub are going to play Rumble Drop Shot ones. This should be good. I, I definitely wanted to see some Rumble Drop Shot ones. <laughs> Scrub is in. We're waiting on Devo. Devo, the victor of the 1v1 mode. Ah, oh, what a boomer. Bar down, bar down. Spikes only. Nah. Forget spikes, man. I want to see the freeze. The freeze is where it's at. Imagine if like the other player is just about to score. Freeze. You just stop it from dropping in. Did we get them both in? We did. Alright. It'll be pretty nice. Let's see what these boys are saying. Which car you prefer? Um, hmm. Think. I think. Because it has some red in it as well. It's double the value. Incredible value by Devo. But I do like my car the most because if you look at what I've done. See the, the pink spiralis in the internal bit of the wheel? It's got yellow, red, blue, green. It's got a bit of everything. Well, so does this combination. We've got some green. Then at this bit, it like goes... Uh, like yellow or it goes light light blue and then I'm pretty sure you can you can get it to go dark blue if you look at it from a specific specific angle and it gets yellow at the back it's got like all the colors if you mix up um, if you mix up green and pink with uh, the new decal you can get some of every color pretty much yellow blue pink red green but anyway enough chat let's throw rumble on here default rumble I've never actually seen this in Rocket League don't know how many games we're gonna have time for Spiralis are gross. I, gross. I like Spiralis because they've got a different, like, uh, tread than most other cars. The lightning wheel tread has kind of been used in so many cars now that I don't really like it as much. And, uh, like, Lobo tread is really good. I like that. I love the Spiralis tread. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, I here have we go. We get it even to see a rumble. Timer. Versus Alex 161. No ball. <laughs> Both players just turn on hold oh, I don't see that, dude. and commence the bean. I don't want to see the beanage of that, but that's a, it's an interesting idea, for sure. First power up and coming. We will actually be able to see. Yeah, we do see what power up it is. That's nice. So not only do we get, do we get to see what boost people have, but what power up they have. And scrub, very very nicely done. I don't think Devo can actually do any damage here, but he has been to scrub into the wall. Scrub kill like getting sent for an absolute flyer. Devo's whipping up a storm. <laughs> it didn't really do much though, because if you do get underneath the ball with the storm. You can't drop it unless, I don't know, maybe you can get above it, then drop it. Nice swap by Scrub. Actually, no, it was a terrible swap. He just swapped himself into damage. Never mind. <laughs> For a second, I thought that it was him who was doing damage, but it was not. It was him who was taking damage. Devo has done a lot of damage. Oh, gets a double floor hit. Boomer by Scrub. Unfortunately for him, it looks like having the uh, power shot power up doesn't actually put the ball up a phase. I feel like if you have that power up, the unstoppable force, you should immediately put the ball up a phase when you hit it. It's just kind of the synergy that you'd expect. Oh, the ball not bouncing for Devo. He's trying to get it bouncing, but he's got the he's got the unstoppable force trying to do the soft touch, and there's just no chance with a power up like that. Good read by Devo. He, Scrub is trying to bait him in there. Scrub is trying to do is he's trying to bait Devo forward to stop the ball bouncing, and then uh, dodge sideways to hit the ball further away from where Devo was, but... Devo just waited back and the ball didn't even bounce. Scrub kill, I just killed it. Nice play by Devo. Getting a clear with a haymaker. He was out of the play pretty much for the follow up because of the disruption, distortion. I can't remember what it was disruption. The scrub gave him. Alter damage for Scrub though, that's not good. Oh, look at the spikes catch for Devo and the dodge. He's, uh, he's managed to correct his level and gets the grounding of the ball, but it doesn't go up a phase. That was still pretty cool by Devo. Catching the ball off the ceiling, dodging to correct his altitude, and then following it all the way to the ground. The second time that Scrub has done damage using the grappling hook. Very well done. Blasting it is Devo. It's going to go so far that Scrub can just wait for it and pop it right back. Again, Devo nailing it. But Scrub changes the color of the ball with the plunger and sends it into his own net. So we learn two things here. One, you can actually change the color of the ball by plunging it. And two, Scrub is a beanbag own goal by him so education happening right now on stream but that's good to know that you can actually change the color of the ball using something like the plunger that leads me to believe that you could probably do that with the magnet as well we haven't seen the magnet yet 
We'll have to keep an eye out for the magnet. Oh, get Dambo. This should be a goal for Scrub. He's going to spike it in, and he can't actually put it under the floor. He has to... <laughs> He has to wait because the spikes, you can't go underneath the floor, he's holding it above. I would have loved to see Scrub air roll upside down here and see what would have happened. Because he could have put the ball halfway under the floor. I'm going to ask him. Uh, why no air roll upside da down? I would, I would have loved to see him air roll upside down and kind of hold the ball underneath the floor. Because then Debo would have had to go slam into Scrub to get Scrub out of the area. It would have been so interesting to see that interaction. But he got the goal anyway. All tie game here in what is looking to be a bit of a skillful game mode. I was concerned that this might just be a bit of a randomness factor, but this looks to be quite skillful, in fact. A lot of the power ups have new ways that they can be used. For example, the freeze power up can be used to save a goal much more easily in drop shot than it was in the regular mode. And the grappling hook is uh, definitely more um, of a deadly power up in this mode, also. Spikes less powerful, as we just saw. Difficult to score with the spikes. Um, Magnet probably less powerful also, unless you can somehow use it to slingshot the ball back down into the ground. But player swap, definitely increased in value. Storm, decreased in value. Like, the power-ups just have different roles that they play in this game. Well, now we see the Magnet for Scrub, but it's, he needs to get the ball bouncing before he can get it to do damage, and unfortunately, it lands on him. He did get to the side, though. Devo wasn't able to recover. Devo has the, the boot. He might just go for the open net. Yes, he will. What a play, Devo! Is going to take the lead. Really smart play by Devo. Getting nice and close and just rolling it in. Scrub getting beamed out of the play. Out of the play. I'm actually loving this Rumble drop shot. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty legit game mode. It's looking pretty good. Neither of these players having as much consistency on the faceoff as Greasy did. Greasy definitely the most impressive aerial 50-50 player that we've seen so far on stream. Oh, Devo could have let the ball bounce there, but he accidentally killed it. Worked out in the long run because he was able to get a couple of additional touches and grind it. This might be cartons for Devo. Devo demos himself by driving into the back of Scrub when Scrub had the unstoppable force activated. Bit of a mistake <laughs> from Devo. He did not need to drive into Scrub there. That goes without saying. Oh, Devo tries to reverse intercept with the spikes. The ball is going to casually roll around and Devo might be able to catch up to this. He should. Yes, he will. What's he going to do with it? Tries to get it to bounce and he doesn't. Unfortunately for Devo, the spikes weren't able to stay activated very long there. I wonder if floor pinching the ball cancels your spikes. I don't think it would, but maybe it will. Scrub might be able to run interference here with the magnet. He could still get in range, and he does, but Devo also has a magnet. Both these guys just magnet buddies, but Devo's saving all of his own hits. Ball rolling off the side of him. Very close game on here. Scrub does have a lot of open nets, but he still needs to find one. And then also... Keep Devo at bay, should there be an overtime. I'm calling this one a favor of Devo. What is he going to do with the plunger? Waits the last second, sends it away from Scrub. Really nice play. Plunger looking to be an extremely powerful tool in this mode as well. Although Plunger is powerful in just about any game mode. Can Scrub get this goal? He would have needed to wait until the ball, until the spikes was gone and then drop the ball into the open net. So not an easy task. And he's not able to execute it this time. Scrub drops game one to Devo, who has already won a drop shot game mode today against Greasy. Let me just very quickly update the score and catch up on some notifications that I have missed. Uh, the True Kentucky and Tua24262 uh, welcome both of you to the stream. Appreciate the subs, guys. Scrub Pila faking the kickoff. Diva will get one damage as a result, but will Scrub be able to punish him with more? Yes, he will. There is why fake kickoffs are very, very legitimate as a strategy in this game mode. Devo, the best counter to that, at least that I've seen, would be backboarding the ball to himself, just hitting it straight at the back wall, and then hitting it down with a second touch, all uh, while in the air. Of course, if we're going to look at anybody to execute a maneuver like that, it would be Devo, the double touch legend himself. Scrub kill, a nice boot, gets Devo out of the play and catches the ball. Saving face. But Devo, good contest again. He's had some really nice contests in positions that other players have struggled to contest Scrub in. But, oh, the ball will go ultra damage down. Devo did not have to go for an air roll shot. Very greedy for him. He was trying to air roll shoot the ball right back into Scrub's half before Scrub could respawn. But he misses it completely. And that's going to give Scrub a huge lead here. Damage is doubled. And some. It would be nice to see a close series here just to finish off the day before we move over to RLCS. Oh, Devo was going to go for a spikes catch. Scrub had other ideas. 
waiting with the Haymaker, but what is Devo gonna do? There is one hole for him to aim at. Gets a juke with a backflip and the pop. Unfortunately, popping it too far, but what a juke by Devo. Getting the ball over the top of Scrub Killer, but Scrub with some outplays of his own. Nice shot, says Devo. All set up by the demo. He saw Devo falling, and then he just drags it in. Really smart play. Devo had no chance. Scrub Killer slingshotting the ball to the left. Yeah, RLCS will be live with their countdown. I'll uh, I'll throw them a host in a couple of uh, a couple of minutes right after I'm done streaming here, because I am uh, going to be watching that myself, of course. Devo gets the dunk at the end of the air dribble, off the wall. Still not in a very good place though is Devo, with a lot of damage um, being done to him early, with not much counter, and he's just going to try and take Scrub out of the game, hoping that the ball would roll into the play. He's got Scrub absolutely flying right here. Can he get the goal? Tries to 360 it in, but he can't. Now Scrub is going to return the storm right back where it came from. I love how these guys are just ignoring the ball and going straight for the, the storm play. I mean, the storm really isn't that good for making aggressive plays in the ball, but it is pretty good for taking your opponent out of the game, and it looks pretty funny. I'm sure you must get pretty triggered if your opponent just foregoes the ball and goes for a storm play. Oh, Devo nearly conceding another goal. If Scrub had just jumped a little bit into the air before going for that grapple play, he might have been able to get it to go down into that gaping hole. Johnny spamming our LCS chat? No, 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 please don't. You're all just going to get banned. <laughs> You're all going to get banned if you spam my emotes. So Scrub igniting Devo. Giving him the unlimited boost right at the end there. Oh, but Devo's got no boost left. Wait, what? Was that a visual bug? I think Devo actually had boost here, but it said that he had none. Let's see. So Scrub gives him the unlimited boost, or gives him the unlimited boost. Goes to zero. But then back up to 70. I've got a feeling that that's just a visual bug. So if a player gets given the, um, the uncontrollable boost, then... They are forced to use it, and it says on the spectator client that they um, that they have no boost, but actually they do have a hundred. That's my that's my uh, analysis on that one. It'd be a bit unfair if it just left you with no boost. <laughs> it just forced you to use it all. I mean, that would make that power up a lot better if it forced you not only to boost uncontrollably but also to use all the boosts that you have. Because right now that power up can actually just be a gift to the other player. Sometimes the other player is pretty boost starved. And they just end up with lots. That pinch, pretty underwhelming, given the fact that Scrub did go right at it. Devo trying to get the ball to do some damage to the floor while Spike to himself. He got a couple of hexes. He desperately needs to avoid as much damage as possible right here because Scrub has the goal advantage. If Devo concedes too much damage, he's going to be at a huge, huge disadvantage, even if he can score. Nice hook back by Devo. But unfortunately, Scrub has the same idea. Both players grappling the ball. Devo had a good plan there. Trying to fake the ball, fake a long shot, and then hook it back into the open net. Oh, the freeze will get the airplane scrub. Devo does connect on the aerial, which is not always the case with these frozen balls. The scrub definitely looking like the favorite here. Pretty much even damage on the floor currently, and a goal to the good. Devo, it was good for him that he got one goal pretty quick after dropping down 2-0. to zero. It would have been very bad for him had that not been the case. Devo trying to keep this ball back behind Scrub in this corner, but I really feel he needs to be aiming more towards the floor that's already damaged in the middle, because it is harder to score in that corner area uh, with multiple walls getting in the way. There we go, Alter Damage doesn't open up that much floor though, but Devo with the backflip! Oh my goodness, saved by Scrub, what a play! Spikes with the save and perfect timing, rolls upside down, that is the best Spikes rumble play I have ever seen. Saving the ball from the last possible second gets the dodge out play and dropping it in all in one motion. That was pretty sick by Scrub. I don't know if I've ever seen a spikes play like that. Definitely not on drop shot. Creativity to the maximum. Mind some days ago, but now I forgot it. Thanks for the GR8 content. <laughs> hey, Fire J, if you do think of your uh, if you do think of your funny quote, be sure to just type it in the chat and tag me. Uh, but thanks for the donation anyway, and, uh, or rather, thanks for the resub anyway. Sorry, I'm mixing up all my notifications here. Silly me. And congrats on the three month badge as well. Love to see some upgrades in the chat. This looks like it's going to be Scrub's game. It's high game in the series. Assuming nothing crazy happens. And Scrub Killer won't be able to turn or steer because his front wheels did grab onto the ball on the top side. Save the replay. 
Do you guys want to see that again? I mean, I can show it again after, if you really want to see it. Devo giving himself the glimmeriest, glimmeriest glimmer of hope, but not much of a, not much hope here for Devo. He needs to hit the ball into the ground in the same hex three times in seven seconds, and it ain't gonna happen. He's backflipping. He's just celebrating, doing some some pirouettes. He knows that this is over. Scrub Kill is gonna make us watch another replay anyway. And swaps for Devo in the process. Oh, you don't have to watch the replay. Everybody skipped. Thank goodness. One all in the series. I don't know how many... Okay, we probably have time for a best of five here. Probably have time for a best of five. This RLCS is 26 minutes away. But who's going to take it? We did see Devo. He went one all with Greasy in the first two games that they played. And then after that, he won two in the trot. The order of wins, I believe, was the same. Devo taking the game there. Greasy tying it up. Then Devo getting two more. So, going by that logic, Devo... <coughs> Excuse me. My eyes oh, forgot to save the replay. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really want to save the, the replay. I'll probably just go watch back the VOD rather than watching the replay on that one. I mean, nah, I, I never really save the replays unless it's something that I didn't understand the first time around, and I do actually understand what happened there. Oh, Scrub just living life at the edge of the storm there. Um, but yeah, like I said, Devo, will he be able to do, repeat what he did against Greasy and win back to back games here? It's not off to a good start. Scrub Killer has damaged the floor with Ultra and Phase 2 damage already in two separate locations. A lot of orange being looked at by Devo. <coughs> Both players have the exact same power up once again. NRG versus Denial first of that's a very big game. Denial are one of those teams that I think I'm gonna say Denial are the fourth line team for me. Good freeze by Devo. Preventing more damage. Scrupula does get involved though. Oh, decal using 20XX. Yeah, they're both using 20XX. It's, it's such a cool decal. It's just a really, really nice kind of uh, adaptation of Slipstream, I would say. This is just like the better Slipstream. A scrub killer. No way has he done it again. Yes, he has. I accidentally right clicked, <laughs> but I did get the camera back to him. What a play. Hitting the ground, backflipping away from Devo, and then backflipping again to put it back into the floor that he just killed. Oh my goodness, Scrub is the Spikes Lord of drop shot. That was insane. I, I didn't want to see Spikes Only before this, but I'm starting to think maybe Spikes Only is a game mode worth checking out in drop shot because uh, there's some mad plays going on. Rocket League's live, yeah, they're live for their uh, countdown. Don't worry. You're not gonna miss any RLCS action. Um, I'll be, I'll be stopping my stream before the game start, before the pre-game even starts. Just the countdown on, our, on Rocket League. Don't worry, you won't miss anything. Diva's struggling here. Desperately needs a goal as soon as possible because the longer he waits, the more damage Scrub is going to be able to do. But there we go. One quick swap and some nice control to roll it in. This is something that we rarely see in Rocket League. Just somebody very, very quickly but very gently trying to roll the ball right beside them. We very often see players in that sort of position where they have to accelerate the ball quickly in a dribble. What they'll try to do is... Um, kind of get the ball up on top of their car, not dead on top, but kind of in front and push it around in the air because that's slightly faster than pushing it on the ground. But these guys know that uh, pushing it in the air is not what they need to do. They need to keep the ball rolling so that it can drop in as fast as possible. Somehow that ball has a blue trail, which is actually very important. The swap by Devo! What a play! That was pretty sick. Devo... Saw that Scrub was about to clear the ball, swapped Scrub out for himself, and then he got the trail to completely change the situation. Ultra damage in what would have been a clear ball for Scrub. It would have been a clear ball into Devo Saf with ultra damage. Devo swaps him out and gets the ultra damage immediately on the floor. Some really smart plays coming out from these guys in a brand new game mode, but Scrub this time boots Devo to the wall. He saw the ball was already rolling on target. Great first start. Scrub rolls it on net. Gets the clear onto the defender. That's going to be scrub back in the lead. But Devo does have more damage done this time. So not a bad position for him. He just needs to make sure not to let scrub damage his floor too much. Try to use the floor that is already damaged as a threat that he can keep scrub in the defense with. Just keep asking scrub questions. Are you ready to defend this patch of floor? Oh, he just needs to get in range of the plunger here. And this could be game. Or no game, but a goal. There we go. Devo does get the plunge, but not in the right direction. 
just plunging it right back into his own app. But the fake 50-50 does get the orange trail for Debo. He heard the sound cue of Scrub coming in. He thought it was a demo, so he jumped. But Scrub is actually just going for the ball. Scrub, still favorite here. But we've all seen what Debo can do in a comeback situation. Uh, that comeback against Fairy Peak in their 1v1 recently. One of the best comebacks I've ever seen. Although we've seen a couple of other ones. So we've seen K-Dop come back from Brazil against Scrub. I've seen Scrub come back from Brazil against Marky. There's been some phenomenal comebacks in the past in 1v1 Rocket League. Especially in the main mode, it's a lot easier to get the comebacks going because the kickoff goals are so prevalent. But there's no such thing as a kickoff goal and drop shot, really. Uh, like, any kickoff goal that does occur could be prevented. And Devo, I said that he doesn't want to do let Scrub do too much damage before scoring a goal. He has, he has not done that at all. Scrub has been able to do tons and tons of damage to Devo's floor before um, Devo has got the equalizer. And it's just becoming even more and more like that. Scrub actually coming in for a double touch, a little bit fortunate. But the initial shot was close to a, go a direct goal. Easy double touch to Scrub. Devo just losing control off the air dribble off the wall. And now Beanbo is certainly back. 3-1 down. Scrub looking to take the lead here in drop shot. Rumble ones. Devo going really high on that aerial. Getting way above the ball. Scrub is easily winning the 50-50. Scrub won't want to concede here though, he wants to keep it at 2. Having a 2 goal cushion in drop shot just feels so safe and uh, Scrub will certainly feel very safe right now. Oh, Devo trying to roll the ball over. Uh, he's not very happy with himself, he feels like that really could have been a goal, should have been a goal, but it isn't a goal. And Scrub is going to run away with this one now. 2 goals up and only 20 seconds remaining, that is a very difficult situation to come back from and Scrub is not looking to slow down anytime soon. Can Devo get one more goal? Surely so much goal to aim at and he does get it. But with only 13 seconds, similar situation to the last game. He had 7 seconds to tie it after the game 2 was done and dusted. Now he's only Hi, got 13. Johnny, how are you? I'm doing good, 0312 Penner. Thank you for the 5 months in a row, I appreciate the resub. Welcome back to you. Yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. I had a pretty good day. I was out for uh, lunch at a Chinese restaurant earlier. And it was pretty much like Daylight Robbery. Their menu was so cheap. It was like... £12.50 for a starter and a main. I was like, this is so free. Amazing. Amazing stuff. I had to come back and uh, get to watch some some good uh, Rocket League action. So we're having a good time. Ooh, not Devo. I meant to put that in Scrubs column. There we go. <coughs> so this could be the last game. I believe we're going to call this a best of five regardless because we won't have time for a best of seven. Uh, but best of five, even if this does go to five games, we will still have the time for it. 18 minutes at RLCS, you are not wrong. Exactly right. I did time this stream to try and um, line up with RLCS. Devo again, only getting one point of damage. Scrub faking the kickoff, and he's going to hopefully get a turnover and more than one point of damage. There it is. So counter attack after the fake kickoff. Working out really well for Scrub. Devo trying to save up some boost here so he's got somebody to work with after he catches the ball with spikes. Backflip, trying to fake a challenge. Unfortunately for him, though, Scrub read that like a book. The Librarian, and now he's got spikes of his own, he's trying to get multiple contacts, Scrub is so good at that, just getting the ball down on the ground and then flipping to get a contact in the exact wow. same location. Really smart play by Scrub. By the way, Zero and uh, Jim, Jimbo JP, both of you guys, appreciate the subs, resub for Jimbo, welcome back to you. But both of those, very much appreciated as always. Devo trying to give the ball that extra little touch, hoping that it would have gone up to the ultra damage. It did not. And there we go again. We're probably going to see this glitch where it shows Devo as having no boost when he actually has full boost. There it is. So it does go down to zero briefly, but actually uh, he's uh, full boost that entire time. Ooh, Devo not getting good efficiency out of his power ups right now. Scrub definitely outplaying him in that regard and he's gonna have to be careful not to own goal. Scrub again getting some more damage and a goal is just gonna double bounce in. That's the danger of these slow shots. If Scrub can hit the ball slow enough and you see right there it does the second uh, the second round of damage so the ball just falls into the hole that they just created. More fake kickoffs by Scrub. This is definitely something that I want to see happen more often. Like, uh, I'm, I've yet to see Devo go for a rebound play. If he just sets the ball to the backboard for himself and then tries to double touch it straight down, that would be a phase two hit. Guaranteed. It would be a phase two hit. 
And uh, with Devo's rebounding capabilities, I'm sure he's very, very able to do that. This should be felt or ultra damage for Devo, but no, he pops it right into scrub. Misplay for Devo. Huge swing, what should have been ultra damage in his favor. Turns into ultra damage against him. He does get a good save on scrub killer's floor shot. Or ceiling shot, rather. Don't know why I said floor when it's quite the opposite. But And again, the player swap is so powerful. Scrub killer would have been conceding possession there. Instead, he just swaps in, gets the next touch, and scores some more damage with it. This looks like Scrub might be just in for a win in three. And Scrub Killer was pretty tentative about playing this game mode. He, he wanted to just do drop shot, but I asked him if he wanted to give Rumble drop shot a go. I had high expectations for this. I thought there would be some pretty cool interactions, some pretty uh, you know new plays that we might see. And we certainly have seen a few. We certainly have seen a few from these guys. So Devo needs to try desperately and get his act together. Another great swap though, and possibly a goal. Oh, it's so close. Devo dunks it in. There it is. The position swap really is the MVP this game. Look at that. Scrub Killer was moving back into defense, ready to volley the ball to safety. Devo swaps him out. Ball does ultra damage on the deck. Dunking it in is Devo. Easy done. One all, but lots of damage in Devo's half. And Scrub Killer is going to do some more phase two damage right there. Scrub Killer has been winning the kickoffs very, very hard. So it's just regular Rocket League action right here. Scrub Killer dominating faceoffs. But this time he's been uh, mind gaming some faceoffs. He's been going for solid aerial 50-50s on others. So just pure mechanics and also the strategy coming into play. Oh my goodness, this oh it could have been phase three. It's so close, but it does get a couple of solid hits. Devo getting booted, not having a good time right now is Devo, but get, <laughs> getting a little bit fortunate that he had the grappling hook to stop him from getting booted away there. He does open up a massive gate. That's huge for Devo. Because although Scrub has the damage lead by a fair margin, Devo has a huge goal to aim at, and that might be in. It is! Devo takes the lead, showing us the importance of hitting this same patch of floor multiple times. Three hits in a row for Devo on one spot. That is all it took. Probably the only three times the ball touched the ground in Scrub's half that entire phase. But that is all that matters, is that he got three in the same hit, or the three, three in the same place. Now, can he defend for 1 minute 22? He's just going to look for as much damage as possible while defending these holes that are open in his side of the field. What is Scrub Killer going to do with this Storm? He might just try and keep the possession until the Storm runs out. As it's really hard to score with the Storm. And he wasn't in a great position to aggress on Devo. Devo getting more damage. Although the damage that Devo currently has, none of those positions are that good. And look at Scrub! What a shot by Scrub Killer! Coming off the ceiling, fires it straight down into the wide open hole. Oh, what a snipe by Scrub. The single hex which was open, it went in off the edge of the next hex, but that doesn't matter. Two all is the score. Devo doesn't have much damage to show for it. All that time went by and he was only able to get three hits, I believe, and none of them are particularly good hits. And Scrub starts off really well, getting a great hit right in the middle off the field. Doesn't have much boost to play with here. He's got to be careful, and he's not careful enough. Devo will get some damage here, and clears it with the Haymaker. This is anybody's game. Definitely the closest game that we've seen. Devo's trying to get a dunk here. He gets it! What a play! That was huge for Devo. Scrub Killer was going for a point-blank range shot. And now Devo with a freeze-out play. Not able to get the dunk into the open net. And now Scrub's got so much time, but not much boost to play with. And the ball starts rolling. Disaster for Scrub. He probably thought that was... Guaranteed damage for him. Devo looking for a demo. Storm scrub into the air, but this is going to be hard to get any damage as the ball is going to be flying around. Scrub getting a lot of damage there. Devo misses the hard clear past him. Scrub will be the favorite going into overtime, but we've seen what Devo can do. All he needs is one hole and he can find it. That would have done a little bit more damage in the corner before the game was uh, sent to OT. Scrub definitely the favorite here. There's a goal right in the middle. Devo, perfect landing though. I don't think Scrub saw that. Devo needs this game to take it into game five. Devo gives him space, but Scrub doesn't hit a very good shot. Devo booming it here is not that good, but he does get the read, meets it again in the middle. And another boomer is gonna take it well away from Scrub Killer. Is it gonna hit the ground? Yes, it is. Scrub Killer spiraling into a spikes catch, but Devo with an immediate interception, really nicely done, and a shot towards the gap. Will, oh, barely misses. I thought that was gonna be in. So close, saved by the edge of the inside hex. Magnet for Devo. I think that has changed the color of the ball. 
In fact, hmm, I'll have, to, I'll have to go and investigate that one further after this. Can you change the ball's trail by magneting it? Because you can by plunging it, but I don't think you can by magneting it, as we just saw. I think it's still a blue trail, even though Devo magneted. He does have the plunger right now, though. That's going to be huge. Devo gets the easy challenge and dunks it in. What a play. Passes it to himself with the plunger and gets the tie series. Some huge plays this game in Rumble Drop Shot. I'm very, very impressed by the creativity of these guys. First time that they've ever played this game mode and look at what they're able to do. And we will go into the last game. Almost perfect timing, actually, before we... Uh, Go to watch our LCS after this. We're gonna have a pretty action-packed day of Rocket League right here. Scripted? No, <laughs> it's not scripted, but this is best of five. The ace match is here. Let me just really quickly check. Uh, what's going on over at Twitch TV for slash Rocket League? I appreciate all you guys shooting in today. Hope you're having a great Saturday. And I uh, hope it only gets better as the day goes on. This is gonna be the very last game of the day on my stream. Scrub killer looked primed to take it to take it in four, take the entire series. And he was gonna be on a three-game win streak there, but he was unable to finish it off. Devo hitting the ball straight into the floor with the boomer. Which I still don't think I, I don't think hitting the ball with the boomer gives it any additional um phases. Scrub killer using his freeze, he was worried to let that ball bounce. But I don't think he had to be worried. It was gonna be one point of damage at the most. I didn't actually see what color of trail it was. Now we're looking at a very bad situation for Scrub. Devo getting demoed, but that did kill Scrub's momentum, blocking him from the challenge. Oh, Scrub with the freeze, but that's not good for him because he's not able to ground this before Devo comes in with his spikes interception. Will he be able to find the floor? How is this going to work? Devo trying to get it in. He will. Manages to keep the ball under his control, and he gets it to roll off him just in time. What does Scrub see here? So Devo... Wasn't able to get it in with the first hit, but he did graze the side of a hex with that attempted goal. That is what opened up the net wide. Scrub Killer might just get a goal immediately here. Yes, he will. Really nicely done. Tie game. We've got a clean slate here. Scrub Killer winning a 50 50 in the middle again. It looks like he's had the better aerial 50 50s this series. 3 minutes 57 on the clock. We got a clean restart. Another fake kickoff by Scrub. Devo still hasn't gone for the backboard play that I know he could do. One day, maybe. I'd love to see him try to set it to himself off the backboard. <gasps> Scrub might be able to score here! The quickest goal, perhaps, and it is! Look at that! One, two, three, and done, and no damage for Devo in this entire play. It gets demoed after the initial phase two damage. Scrub manages to put it back into the one hex that was open. That's 2-1 with not quite a clean slate. There's literally one hex of damage for Devo, but Scrub continuing to win these 50-50s in the middle, and he's done it again! No way! Scrub Killer wins the 50-50, opens up one hole with this follow-up hit. This time a bump, no demo needed, and he's 3-1 up. Devo still one hex to show for it. What a play by Scrub. That is the cleanest two goals I've ever seen in drop shot. Not dropping a single tile and scoring two tiles in the process. This time Devo going for a fake kickoff. Scrub Killer hits it straight at him and beats him to it. Scrub is absolutely on another level right now. Devo doesn't know what's going on. It was so close in game four. And now Scrub is running away with this. Complete domination by Scrub. Scrub with the kickoff goals. I know even in drop shot rumble he finds a way to score a kickoff goal. But it's so well played. Getting a demo to set up the last or the second one. And then getting the bump to set up the third one. Not sure what on earth happened in Devo's uh, boot there. Didn't look like it did much damage, if any at all. He's got so much work to do though. Scrub, still such a clean, clean half. Oh my goodness, what a play by Devo, popping it and the Haymaker into the ceiling. Almost guaranteed damage, that was an unstoppable move if I've ever seen one. The Scrub Killer is not done. He's looking for the primed floor and he finds it! What a play by Scrub! This is insane from the youngster. We'll look for Devo, oh, Scrub dodges out of position. Gets the floor absolutely destroyed. That was phase two damage as he hit the floor right in the middle of that prime patch. And it just goes straight in with the double touch. There's nothing Devo could do. 4 1. What a series. What a game Scrub is having. Devo hasn't played this badly. It's just Scrub has been so, so clinical. Turning what looks like a really even situation into a goal for himself. Three times in a row. Just showing 
the skill ceiling of drop shot is so high. If players get good at these double touches or point blank range, just squashing the ball in, smothering it into the floor, then how can you defend against that? But of course, that is a skill that no one has really practiced yet. You don't practice, you know, smothering the ball into the ground in regular Rocket League. That is something that only drop shot uh, will kind of bring to the table. And I'm loving that we're starting to see it here. Scrub really putting on a good show here. Incredibly efficient goals. Will Diva will be able to mount to come back. I mean, if Scrub can score three goals like he did in that uh, short time, then I'm sure Devo can do the same. But the mental game is going to be so hard for Devo now just to think that he has a chance to come back. There's a nice swap. He left himself upside down to increase Scrub's recovery time. That might have looked like just laziness from Devo, but the reason he's doing that is because when Scrub's car swaps to Devo's position, it also has the same alignment. So Devo left his car upside down on purpose so that when Scrub got swapped to his position, he would have to self right before getting back into the play. That was really smart by Devo. There's honestly some extremely high level things going on here, but Scrub continues to be better at aerial 50-50s. Devo struggled against Greasy in this regard. Definitely a weakness in his game we're starting to see here. He's been able to hit that middle pixel in the ball. Slightly, slightly worse for Devo. And he tried to get a grapple interception, but Scrub just hit it too far past him. The grapple, of course, has a maximum speed, and if the ball is moving away from you, you at, uh, at like uh, supersonic speed, you can't even catch it at all with the grapple, and that's pretty much what we saw there. shooting star in 1v1 before I watched your videos on YouTube. One month later, I was champ. Really appreciate your hard work less than three. Hey, Bubblegum40, that's awesome to hear, dude. I thought that was going to be the meme where you say you were a shooting star before you're watching my videos and now you're like a prospect. But hey, congrats on the huge increase. We see Devo showing us once again that the grapple does not send you any faster than Supersonic. <laughs> He's not able to close the distance. 42 seconds. Devo does have a chance, but it is a small one. This is very much like uh, Game 2 and 3 where Devo's left it all to do until very, very last seconds. But he's going to get one goal. Little bit of a weird situation. Scrub killer with the double question mark. He's probably wondering how this ball bounced. But Devo magnets it towards the floor. And apparently there was enough downward momentum there that although the ball looked like it was rolling, it broke the floor and immediately fell into the hole it had just created. One goal the difference. Devo still in an extremely precarious position. But he finally wins a kickoff. This could be huge. He needs to hit that same spot a few times more. It's right in the middle. A great position to have damage done. But he needs more. Oh, there's a good freeze. But unfortunately, oh, Scrub Killer with a huge play giving Devo the unstoppable boost. At the worst time, we could see Devo there trying to twist and turn and contort his car so that he could possibly face the ball. But there was just no way to do it as his boost was unstoppable right there. Four seconds to go. Devo needs to pinch it in the ground. I think the ball would probably just... Go to zero seconds if it did hit one of those prime tiles. But wow, what a game. Scrub showing us the possibilities of drop shot rumble that we're going to see in the future and takes a series. Really great series there. It's going to be the last one of the day and we're just coming up to the very end of the stream. So I appreciate all you guys uh, sticking with us. Over 2,000 viewers at the end. And I encourage all of you now to go and shoot into RLCS. I'm going to throw them a host in three minutes anyway. But before I go, I'm going to run some ads because, uh, you know, like to just create some money out of thin air like that. Um, so I appreciate if you guys do watch the ad or open up an incognito browser um, or turn off ad block or something like that because they do directly support me and help me to stream as much as I do. But if you don't want to do that, that's absolutely fine. Go and watch RLCS. Have a great time. It is the North American RLCS great, uh, group stages. Day three. Money whore. I know. Tell me about it. What a jerk. But anyway, I'm going to click that button. It's uh, three minutes to RLCS to get started. So perfect timing on that. I'll see you guys next time. It's been a great fun uh, stream today. Um, I'll probably try and do more of these afternoon streams because uh, I need to find reasons to get up early. But hey, appreciate all the support today, guys. You've been insane. And uh, go and have a great time watching RLCS. I'll see you next time. And for all the people who have ad block.